hey what's up guys google release a new app to look at your photos and uh you can put your pictures on it but you cannot back it up like you can on google photos it's just a lot less features than google photos and the app it's called gallery go by google photos so i'm gonna stack it up against google photos to see what's changed and what you're getting from google photos to google gallery so let's go ahead and take a look at the icon you can see this is the icon for gallery go and that's the icon for google photos you can see they are a lot different so if i go to respective app just like so on the right i got google photos and on the left side i got google gallery so you can see the ui a lot different right because you're gonna have more options on Google Photos than Google Gallery. So on the bottom, you got Photos and you got Folder on Google Gallery. For Google Photos, you got Photos, Albums, Assistant, and Sharing. So for Google Gallery, you only got Photos and Folders. For Google Photos, you got Photos, Albums, Assistant, and Sharing. That means you can do more things on Google Photos. If you look on the top left, you can go straight to more settings like your photo book, Achieve, Trash, Free Up Space settings, Photo Scan, Send Feedback and Help. On Google Photos, you got more options, but on Google Gallery, you don't have that option. You still got the three dots on the top right on each app. But for Google Photos, once you go to the options, you got select photos, you got layout, albums, shared albums, movies, animation, collapse, I mean colleague, and you got photo book. For Google Gallery, you only got select photos and settings. If we go to settings, you got submit feedback you got the version number that's version 1.0 because this app is fairly new it came out yesterday you got open sources license privacy policy and terms of service so you can see here right from the get-go on google photos you're gonna have a lot more options so on the very top for gallery go or google gallery whichever you want to call it let's call it gallery go so for gallery go on the top it categorizes as two sections screenshots and movie because that's basically what i have on my device right now so screenshot and movies it shows you the mod i took the pictures but for google photos i can categorize it by month or day so you're gonna always have more options for google photos so let's see what happens if I tap on any photos. You can see for Gallery Go, you got Shared, Auto, Edit, and Delete. For Google Photos, you got Share, you got Edit, and you also got Delete. And on the top, if I tap on those three dots, you got Info, Edit Photos, and Google Photos if you want to do that with Gallery Go, and you can use it as anything you want like your wallpapers your home screen your lock screen or your home screen and your lock screen for google photos you can add the photos to your album achieve it save it to your device or save it as a pdf file that's nice it also shows you the date you take the pictures and the camera you use that's cool so let's go back let's go back at that now you can select multiple photos let's say if i select those six photos so if i select those six photos you can share them to whichever app you want you know what i mean so that's that you can go ahead and also if you select multiple photos on gallery go you can delete them if you want to if you delete a photo on Google Gallery, there's the option to check the trash folder. So let's say if I delete these photos like so, 
it's just automatically delete there's no trash folder so keep that in mind like i said you're always gonna have more options on google photos if you delete something on google photos you got the trash option you can go and you can restore the photo if you want to but gallery go does not let you do that if you delete a photo you cannot go to the trash folder to see it so you can see here on the google photos if i delete any photos i want to restore back i can select them and then i can store i can restore it or i can select to delete it all at once indefinitely so that's one thing to keep in mind with google gallery you cannot delete photos and get them back because there's no trash folder and there's no restore folder so on google photos you can do that if you want another thing to keep in mind is that google gallery does not let you back up your pictures on the cloud like google photos allow you to do when you're using google photos on your device when you take photos or videos it automatically update it or back it up on google photos on the cloud but gallery go does not let you do that another thing that's different from google photos to gallery go is that you cannot use internet with this app it's totally it's a totally offline app so you don't need no internet action to use the app it's an offline app so that's basically it guys google photos allow you to have multiple more options than gallery go gallery or is a light version let's put it like this google photos is the facebook app and gallery goes the facebook light app yep gallery goes the light version and google photos give you the full blown version you got more options like trash restore free up space you know stuff like that google photos don't give you those options both of these apps are free on the app store if you got android or ios you can download the respective app for your device both of them are free like i said no money required so what you guys think about google photos and the google gallery app are you guys gonna use them drop me a comment below to let me know if you're gonna try gallery go or google gallery whichever you wanna prefer to call it and that's it i'm out guys peace